Hey, welcome back everyone. It is already May 13th of 2022 and we are just a couple of weeks out from the official release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show on May 27th, which by the way is going to give us two chapters in one day. That's really going to set everything up for the introduction of Darth Vader in chapter three by of course director Deborah Chow. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, we are currently in a very interesting time of Star Wars given that multiple Star Wars TV shows and films are being worked on at the same exact time, simultaneously of course by Favreau, Filoni, and other creatives coming on board over at Lucasfilm to handle everything Star Wars related. I mean, we have a lot of books and comics in the works and new video games that's gonna tie into the new Star Wars universe. It's really gonna further enhance the overall Star Wars experience, right? So when you look at it like that, we already have a lot of Star Wars legends that are going to be revived by Favreau and Filoni and even Lucas to really handle Star Wars in a better light. Now, with that being said, we already know that Kathleen Kennedy has been having a lot of problems with the Acolyte TV series still to this day, you know, because of all the different setbacks, all the different firings of co-writers and directors before in the past, and creative differences, and how Leslie Headland is still having issues with the series. It really makes you wonder whether or not things are really going to happen with that show and whether or not it's even going to come out in 2023. But I digress. The big deal about all of this related to George Lucas is that currently in the background, there's a lot of things happening between himself and Disney CEO Bob Chapek setting amazing and exciting things up for the future of the Star Wars universe that's really going to take a lot of inspiration from the books, the comics, and the video games from the past. Now, with that being said, however, with many new Star Wars TV shows in the works by Disney and Lucasfilm, creators Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively developing their new projects that are set to tap into Star Wars legends and canonize many stories about them in the near future. Now, it's described, however, that creator George Lucas is actively working on a brand new Star Wars project that is set to be based within the old Republic era of the Star Wars universe. It's described that this new series is already in the early development phase and that Lucas will be labeled as a co-writer for the series that is going to focus on multiple characters, both on the light and the dark side of the Force. Now, recently, Disney CEO Bob Chapek made it possible that this new series will not just be a limited series, but rather a multi-season show that is set to focus on key characters like Darth Malak and even Darth Revan across different periods of time within the Old Republic timeline. Further, the new series will bring in new secrets about the Jedi Order that are set to be introduced in the new Star Wars canon that will, of course, change how fans view the Jedi Code and other aspects of the Star Wars universe. Now, as of now, the new series is described to be the darkest Star Wars TV show in the works that is going to be developed specifically for the hardcore fans and an older audience to give it a more violent setting in the Star Wars world. Now, let me just stop right here for one second. Now, we already know that this series in particular, it's been in the works for a couple of months now, but it's finally moving well into, of course, the early development phase and getting closer to that pre-production cycle. Now, when you look at it like this, we already know that the Old Republic era is a very violent time in Star Wars. I don't know if you guys ever saw the CG clips online of the video games from, you know, the early 2000s, and I think that what they're doing right now with remaking the game and giving us new cinematics, it's just opening up a wide amount of possibilities of what's to really come in the new Star Wars universe. So, with that being said, one other thing that we do have in store for, of course, the expanded universe pretty much from the past becoming a reality now by George Lucas is that this is all George Lucas's idea that was pressed on Bob Chapek for numerous months until he finally made the decision to finally greenlight this new series. Now, the Old Republic series is also going to feature a handful of new bounty hunters and even a brand new Sith Lord 
that has never before been seen in the Star Wars Legends material or the existing canon under Disney. Now, the series will be taking many highlights from the books and video games and turning them into reality, and that Lucas already has chosen Favreau as a writer to take part in the new series that they plan to drop by sometime in early 2025. This Old Republic show will also deal with a new character that holds the same species as Yoda that will be introduced in the show that is going to be considered an ancestor of Yoda in the series. Given that the series takes place thousands of years before episode 1, this is said to be Disney's way of creating and revealing new secrets about Yoda's species, and of course will be George Lucas's way of explaining more about Yoda's species in live action form for the very first time in Star Wars history. So let me just stop right here for a second before we get to more exciting stuff. Now, we already know that Kathleen Kennedy is introducing a younger version of Yoda in the Acolyte TV show. This almost comes across like George Lucas kind of doing the same thing to combat against that, except this time around it's not Yoda necessarily. It's going to be an ancestor of Yoda. Basically, it is going to be the same exact species that Yoda is, but a different character during the Old Republic era. Now, if you guys know anything about the Old Republic, it takes place thousands upon thousands of years before episode one. So this is well before any time that Yoda's alive or anybody related to Yoda's really arrive you know, alive, of course. I think that obviously they're really focusing on a distant relative of Yoda in the Old Republic era. Like I say, an ancestor. So. With that being said, all right, moving past all of this, now with that, of course, being put into place, we also have storyboards that are already in the works by George Lucas and other creators in order to get a general feel for the series where Darth Malak and Malgus are set to be the big focus in the show and that they are planning to make the Old Republic a foundation for multiple spin-off or limited Star Wars projects in the future that will further expand the Star Wars lore and stories to be introduced to the overall Star Wars fandom. So keep that in mind, is that they are also using the Old Republic as a foundation, just like how Kenobi is being laid down as a foundation, and just how The Mandalorian was used as a foundation. Basically, they use one show as a way to create a branch of spin-off series. And that's the overall endgame, is that they want to create multiple foundations that are based within different eras that create different branches of specific limited Star Wars TV shows or multi-season shows. And that to me I think is a very interesting way that they are doing it. It's almost like their own take on how Marvel does phases. This time Lucasfilm, all right, with Star Wars is basically creating different eras and branching off of those eras of Star Wars as a whole. So I think it's a very unique style that they are going for in order to really expand the Star Wars universe and to really take a lot of notes from Star Wars legends and reviving those stories that so many hardcore fans grew up with in the early 2000s and the late to early 1990s, etc. So, like I say guys, I think that George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni, they really have their head on straight. I think that Mando Season 3 and Season 4, the Ahsoka series, and shows like that are really going to prove that they know exactly what they're doing. They were very little involved, by the way, with the Kenobi TV series, just want to be clear on that. They had some involvement later in production when they got those promotions over at Lucasfilm, but they will be involved in the further seasons of the Kenobi series that are currently being greenlit by Bob Chapek. Now, anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you also very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>